Hey, this is GoingGear.com, and today we're going to take a look at the Throughnight Catapult V2. This is a little bit of an updated version of the original Catapult. They made some improvements, like they uh, made it a little bit more stable. They increased the lumens from 900 to 1000, put a stainless steel bezel on the front of this, and they added support for CR123 batteries. So now it can take two or four CR123 batteries. Um, the interface is also a little bit more simplified. So when the head is tightened, you always have your max brightness, that, uh, that 1000 lumens. Loosen the head, and you have a lower brightness. So you have two brightnesses that you can switch between quickly. And those are the only two modes that you have now, so you don't have to worry about uh, cycling between any other modes or strobe or anything like that. Now, this middle part of it is actually an extension tube. And you can take that off. Right now we have two 18650 batteries in there. We're going to take those out and put those to the side. We're going to take the extension tube off. I'll let you kind of look down in there. There's the inside of the head the back of that battery tube and uh, we're going to put a couple CR123 batteries in there just to show you that it can become a more compact size and you can just use it just like this it's not going to be quite as bright but uh, it's still pretty bright on a couple CR123s and it's more compact size if you like the smaller size of it there's also a holster available for it uh, this is the smooth reflector in there you can see it's nice and deep smooth reflector um, it'll let it throw the light really, really far. Uh, you can also get an orange peel reflector, which is textured, that'll let it uh, smooth out the beam a little bit, um, take out some of the rings that are in there. Which, honestly, with this kind of LED, they're not too bad, but if you don't like them, uh, that can help you get rid of them. has a forward switch, so you have the momentary activation if you want it, and obviously if you click it all the way, it'll turn it on. You can see it's kind of a beefy light, uh, really good feel in the hands, uh, nice and durable, so you don't have to worry about doing any kind of damage to this thing with just regular use. I'll show you a shot of the front again. You can see the LED down in there. There's the back with the switch. You can see it. There's your extender tube. Uh, one note that I will say, uh, it took me a little while to figure this out with the first version of it. The extender tube, unlike a lot of flashlights, it doesn't go between the battery tube and the tail cap. It goes between the battery tube and the head. So if you put it the other way, uh, the light actually will not turn on, so make sure you assemble the light correctly when you put it together. So we're going to go and put these batteries back in here, and then put everything back together, and we're going to take it outside and see how it does outside. Alright, so we are in my backyard with the Catapult version 2, and we're going to compare it to something that everybody knows, a 4D mag light. So let's try out that 4D mag light first and see how it does. Shine it on the top of some trees that's about... 150 yards away. Can't really tell it at all. I don't think it's going to show up on the video. I can't see it on the screen, um, but you can't really tell that the light's actually shining at all. You can kind of see it when I shine it at my house. That's about uh, maybe 60 yards away. Put that tree out there. Can't really see anything. So let's try that catapult and see how it does. You can see it lights up not only the tree, but everything around it as well. Lights it up really well. That's it on high. We'll drop it down to low. You can see even still on low, Lights up everything that's going on there around there really well. So that's it. Those are the two different brightnesses for the catapult. And I just wanted to show you the light and all its functions, what it can do. If you have any questions, you can reach me in the comments or at goinggear.com. And as always, uh, the lights you saw in this video, you can get from me at goinggear.com.